Hey there, a blessed day to you. With all the reports, with all the things that we hear, with all the things that we are seeing, with all the things that we have read, there are some things or there are uh, there are some times that we feel down and we look at the situation and we look at it and, and we feel hopeless and we look at it and, and, and the only thing in our heart is for us to survive and to survive this day, to survive this week, to survive this month. But I'm gonna cut you to that because it might be our thoughts, it might be what the world thinks, it might be what the people think, but what is in the mind of God? What is in the heart of God for you and me? And I'm gonna share it to you right now. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 it's a very common verse and it says there for I know the thoughts this is God speaking for I know the thoughts I have for you for I know the thoughts I have for you in other version for I know the plans I have for you and my plans is to prosper you what is in the mind of God what is in the heart of God for you is to prosper you and not to harm you whatever situation you are facing whatever circumstance you are facing whatever things you have heard about you whatever things you have heard about what's going on and what's happening it doesn't change the, the plan of God it doesn't change the thoughts of God for you because our God is unchangeable he is unshakable and he is unstoppable he said for I know the thoughts I have for you. Thoughts to prosper you and not to harm you. The plans of God is to prosper you and not to harm you. If you're feeling down today, go back to God. Go back to the plan of God. If you're feeling discouraged today, go back to the plan of God because His plan is to prosper you and not to harm you. Then He continued, plans to give you hope and a future does the world giving us uh, weariness or it, we lose us our hope we feel so weak maybe discouraged frustrated maybe disappointed and we come to a point that we don't want to continue anymore I, I would just want to stay here where where I can see everything I just want to stay here where it, uh, I, I can be protected or covered but God is telling you right now I am giving you hope and future hope and future if you need hope today if you are worried about your future today or your the future of your family today Go to God, hold on to Him, be one with Him because His plan is to prosper us and not to harm us. His plan was to give us hope and a future. Come to your Father, tell Him, Lord, I want to be one with what you want for me. I want to be one with the truth, Lord God, of what are you thinking about me? What are you planning for my life? not 
the world as the world introduced, not as the circumstance introduced, not even as the giants in front of us are telling us. But what is the truth? What is in the Word of God? What is in the heart of God? What is in the mind of God for you and me? Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Enjoy your day with the plans and the purpose of God in your life. Kingdom Thoughts.